Hey folks, welcome back. In the previous video, I managed to go through the beast fight with Jacob and Esau to obtain Friend Finder. I have yet to see any of Jacob's unlocks, but that's fine. I'm sure I will find a lot of them later on. We have one more thing to do with Jacob and Esau, and then I will move on to other characters. I need to play quickly and defeat Hush. That should be obtainable, achievable, whatever. The only downside is <laughs> uh, 30 minutes to get to the boss is not a lot of time, especially with all the exploration that I do. So I'm going to have to cut that part short and focus specifically on clearing. Telekinesis, I haven't gotten that before. Previously it blocked tears. I wonder if it still does that. This is also an exile floor I did see at this time. So I know there will be two item rooms to pick up. And if I don't get red heart damage, I will also have a devil deal. Ooh, they changed it. Now it's a pulsing aura. That's cool. No pills today. I wonder if that can knock back enemies. It might knock back, I mean push them. Item number two, Bursting Sack. I still don't know what this item does, <laughs> but it's okay. I assume it's something like if they touch you, you create spiders. I do have a bomb. Let's go ahead and get a secret. Rock. Hooray. If we count necessity for this run, I think I need six keys in total. No shops, just item rooms. Something like that. I was hoping that'd be a usable bomb, not a troll bomb. Okay, it does push back enemies as well. That's really good. Especially because Jacob's in front. Esau gets covered by the aura a little bit. Pretty good. And this is the perfect item for Plum. That's so cool. Ooh! <laughs> oh, that was my fault. I moved the wrong way. I was trying to get Jacob in front of Esau again, but I missed up. Belt I love. More speed is very helpful, especially for traversing rooms, but also for dodging enemies. Second boss. Dingle. Okay, easy enough. Back up, punk. What timing. <laughs> Perfect time for an item to, <laughs> to stop. <laughs> okay. I'm doing good on time, so I might as well hit the dross. I was debating not going down, but I, I think I'm okay. I need more items to fight Hush. 
If I go in with just my health now and my damage, I am screwed a little bit. Hope I can nab some angel deals at the same time. Epiphora is fine. Not ideal, but it is fine. We also got Anemic. That's also not very great. All good. That's a good pick. Tier 8, Isao. Next floor I get a guaranteed angel. Was really hoping that it was going to be this floor. Okay, Mark is more damage. Uh, Isao can get that. Oh yeah, it also gives speed. Nice. Actually quite remarkable. There is enough space that both of the boys are protected by the aura. Still doing good on time, so my marker right now is to get to boss rush. If I get to boss rush, I have enough confidence in clearing that to also then make it to Hush. They both just lost their holy mantle. Good thing I had a card. That would have been a game over. Whew. A couple of oopsie mistakes today, but uh, we're fine. Give me that candle. You could try to beggar here, but you would also wind up dying. Best not to do it. Health, that's fine. I want to explore more. Ooh, hello. Want to explore more, but I gotta go. Can't mess around too much today.
What I'm really hoping to get is Dry Baby or Farting Baby. That makes Hush much more possible. Awesome. I thought the pulse was going to push them back enough to give me room to move, but <laughs> that is not the case. Thank you. Candle is really good for this boss. It has a very large hitbox, so the entire flame can touch without any issue. Circle of Protection, I'll put it on Jacob. This is going to be helpful for Hush. We found our item room. It's time to go. Two floors to get to Boss Rush, and then if Boss Rush has favorable items, I'll take them. If not, then I will move on. I believe Red Candle blocks tears as well. If that's the case, then I can use that to also block some of Hush's tears. I don't know why I'm forgetting right now, but I am. <laughs> oh, nice shot, you jerk. No left hand today. Chaos? Arrow walk. 
I just unlocked that one. I really oh, arrow walk makes me fly, right? Hero walk. Oh, oops. Well, uh, we're definitely taking Sedanic Bible. And then you're taking that. I'd rather get more health than take that protection, so we'll see if my risk pays off. I know I'm going to get a cube of meat or ball of bandages now, but I'll have to deal with that. I'd rather get the health. Also, I don't have my item room yet. Thanks, game. Also, I'm not that worried because I do have Circle of Protection. Ooh, very good. Capricorn, that's an all stat up. And it breaks the tier cap. Wait, is that a secret rock? No, it's a... I thought the bomb had an X on it, but it doesn't. Ooh, we got moves. Get juked, you punk. Okay. Uh, baby. You. I do want to get Tarot Cloth. Just in case it's like a pretty usable one. We're going to do one, two. Oh yeah, I have the deck of cards. So, you use this. You take that, I'll take this, let's move on. I gotta pick up the pace, I'm already moving too slow. Too slow, too slow. Sun is good, especially for the next area. Does the ball of bandage cost a heart? That don't does not make any sense. A cult is a really good thing. I'm just gonna take it. We're gonna sun card, get our stuff, and then head immediately to mom. The sun. Okay, everything's mostly on the way, so that's fine. You know what I'm going to do? I, sh you know, I don't normally do this, but I am going to do it now. I'm actually going to steal from Boss Rush. And then hopefully my baby will give me enough health to push me to boss rush or push me to hush sorry remote good item if we're trying to do something with clears but not for now i don't think i picked it up before so i'll probably go back and touch it oh wait i can get some money here <laughs> or not <laughs> Where's my shop? My shop's on the way. Okay. Let me just touch it. Just in case. So the clicker will actually turn you into another character. You do then take their achievements. So, for example, if you clicker when you're right before, say, Mega Satan, you could have that character become 
someone else, and then you would get the Mega Satan achievement for them. It's pretty helpful. So let's say you get, like, the best run ever. That's always nice. But you have the best run ever on some other character. You could easily just switch it up and find someone else who you need clears on. Did I make it? I sure did. Okay, Champion Mom is fine. My damage is not great, and that makes me nervous about Hush. Thank you, Circle Protection. Okay, one and two, right? Yes, great, cool. Go together. We're gonna do more health and poison tears. I don't know what that spinny thing is, but that's fine. Actually, this is backwards. You need more health. Okay, we have 10 minutes to make it through the next two stages and get to Hush. The more I clear, the better off I'll be because of the book charges, so I just have to keep in mind how much time I have left and how many, or how much time I have left so I can determine if I want to get more book charges or not. Oh, nice. Uh, let's get these cards just in case. I don't have any bombs, cool. So I want the, those cards because they could be Joker and Joker would give me the instant double deal, so I could do a quick check on items. I don't think I need to do much meandering because I have pretty good hearts on both characters. The devil deal is what's going to affect my assessment here. Because if I take a devil deal with like three items, then obviously I'm going to have a harder time keeping my health up. Oh yay, another library. Unfortunately, I only got two books for each character. So hopefully I can find some good books. Book of Belial, that's awesome. Okay. I, that's what I thought, Bookworm only works on one. Do I want the damage or the hearts? Let's go for hearts. And then we're gonna do this really quickly. Make sure these aren't a Joker card. Could be an Ace of Clubs. It's two of hearts. Two of clubs, okay. Oh, that was my fault. I lost track of where the boys were.
Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to use my Book of Revelations. At least the boss is easy. It's gonna be Mr. Fred. I'm gonna wait though. Money is power, that's even better. Okay, let's be quick here. Drop your hearts. Oh! I forgot it's a full heart of damage. Okay, both of them get flight. This is really good. You get Guppy's Paw. You also get Guppy's Paw. Two of clubs. Okay. Gotta use my noggin here. Do I... Uh... Okay. Let's be really quick here. They're both flying, which is very good. But I want to quickly grab the... Black rune here. That's Hierophant. Nice. The Hierophant. Uh, you get the black rune. You get the strength card. They both have full hearts. Yay! Let's go. Actually, you get second hand. Which one of you has poison tears? I need to switch the trinkets around because poison will last longer with the second hand. Black rune. Get those stats. I got tier rate, which is awesome. Alright, we have five minutes. First things first, you get this, you get this, and this. Alright. I put my trinkets in the wrong order again. <laughs> okay, we got this. You get these two. You get these two. Double two of hearts, huh? Justice. Two of hearts. One of them has spectral tears. I believe it is Esau, because Lord of the Pit is flight and speed, and then Spirit of the Night is spectral flying. Come on, pop out. Oh, can't pick up any rotten hearts. I don't have any red hearts. Rude. All of you are rude. Where are you, Mom? I 
think just keep heading to the right, I guess. this judgment to be a key beggar? Oh wait, let's check the shop first. Judgment. This works. I know I have money equals power, but I can just bomb the machine for damage. Magnetized Tears and GB Bug. Magnetized Tears are fine, especially for this boss fight. Uh, who has a baby? The baby is on... Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't actually show who touch... Yes, it does. Sorry, I can't see. <laughs> I was going to say, it doesn't show who touched the baby, but it was... It was Jacob. I think this is tear it up for Jacob. It was range, okay. Here we go for the achievement for the full unlock. Jacob and Esau versus Big Old Nasty. Oh great, you can't see my things here. So magnetism is really good as you can see. It doesn't make the tears go out far enough. And then of course I do have circle of protection, just an added layer of tear block. I haven't found the item in a regular run, but I think during one of the challenges or one of the daily runs, I managed to snag the Psyfly. That thing is really good. I don't know what item pool it's in, but it's a very good item. 
it basically seeks out tears that come close to you and swats them back at the enemy as a psychic shot. That would be the best thing to find versus Delirium and Hush. Come on, Jacob. Reflect those tears back. Vanishing Twin. Again, no idea what any of the items do, but I assume they're pretty good. Well, since we're here, let's go into the chest. Who knew that my final Jacob and Esau run would be so good <laughs> and so short? <laughs> I was wondering if that would have been a bloody combat room. If it was, I could have used my get out of jail free card. Unfortunately, it was not. there should be careful <laughs> really got to be careful now I don't want to get beaten by Isaac again
Alright, we made it. We only have three keys. Mushrooms shoot. <laughs> My life savings. Book of Shadows. That is good. Uh, which one of you has bookworm? That is the question. Okay, so Jacob has bookworm. That means Esau should touch the book first. That way they both can have bookworm. I'm not actually gonna fight Mega Satan. I'm just gonna beat the boss and move on. This is Summoner Gertie, so I won't get attacked at all. It'll just summon little friends. Easy boss fight there. And I wanted to try to get something from Super Pride, or sorry, Super Envy. All right, spamming jerk. Play-Doh Cookie. Cool. Have I gotten this item before? I feel like I have. Also, I forget which of the boys touched Guppy's paw first, but I think it was Esau. So Esau picking up Dead Cat will get me one step closer to a Guppy. will they give me? Will they give me an item? <laughs> Restock. A little late. Oh yeah. Time to... Now if I wanted to, I could go back and get the Book of Revelations as well. It's okay. 
I got Lucky. I got Loki's horns, which is pretty cool, especially because I have controllable tiers. So the little tiers I do shoot out, I'll just get a wider spread on my attack. Well, get cutting it cutting it a little bit close on this run. Once again, Jacob and Esau not doing stellar work with dodging, but we're here. We may die. I also probably have forgotten to use the Book of Revelations, but I couldn't tell you because I don't look at the bottom right of the screen ever. The rune bag. I have not gotten this item in this file, but I know that the rune bag is one of my favorites. Getting runes every few floors is so nice. Uh, how many pens do you think it is? One or two? It's only one. Oh yeah, wrong one's in front. I'm just gonna stand here. Huzzah! Completion! Feels good! We have a challenge to do. And then after that, we can play with anyone else. I'm excited. That was a very tough character, but I am pleased that I succeeded. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more. I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.